This is amazing. Now we have Devin, a first AI software engineer. Check this out. Software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix it. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. You can see how it compares with Cloud2 and even GPT-4 in the SWE benchmark. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Devin, a first AI software engineer. Devin has its own browser, own terminal to execute, and able to reiterate if any issues occurs. I'm going to take you through step by step on the list of features in Devin. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. And I'm going to show you how Devin, our AI software engineer, can autonomously learn from a blog post. Within a few minutes, Devin successfully generated this back desktop background image for me with my name on it. So all I had to do was send this blog post in a message to Devin. From there, Devin actually does all the work for me, starting with reading this blog post and figuring out how to run the code. So it was able to go through blog posts, understand the context, and then create an image based on that. In this example, there was an issue with the repo and we have a error message. So Devin went through the repo, ran the code, identified the issue, do final tests, and finally fix the code in the repo. This is really exciting. In this example, Devin was able to train another AI model, which means an AI is trained another AI. It is going to train Llama 7 billion parameter model. It is cloning the repo, going through the list of steps to fine tune. Devin runs into some CUDA issues, which is to be expected with open source repos, but it's not a problem. Devin looks at the NVIDIA environment and figures out how to reinstall the packages to make it work. After a few it more fixed runs, any issues if model names, it occurs, working. Here we see and it finally performs fine-tuning. The main list of features in Devin are, it has a chat interface on the left-hand side and a workspace on the right-hand side. In the chat interface, you are able to talk to Devin and give instruction like this. And on the right-hand side, you have four different tabs. One is Shell, Browser, Editor, and Planner. Shell is the terminal. Using browser, it can browse. Using editor, it can edit the files. And using planner, it can list the steps it's going to follow. We should be able to track the progress when it started doing task. Even in this example, it was able to look at the job listing in Upwork, saw the requirement, then based on that, it performed the task and finally gave the output. This is really groundbreaking. This is going to change a lot of things it is going to improve the lives of a software engineer. I'm really excited about this. Soon I'm going to try this out in a live demo. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.